there, we will start summarizing special characteristics of a distribution, such as the center and the spread around the center. This video is to discuss the center of a distribution. I assume you've already watched part 1 video in chapter 2 playlist. The expected value or expectation of a random variable is denoted by mu. If the random variable is x, then mu sub x or e of x, sometimes we use brackets here, denotes the expected value of random variable x. Here is how we calculate the expected value of a discrete random variable. The expected value of a discrete random variable x is calculated as a weighted average of the possible outcomes where the weights are the probabilities of the outcomes. Suppose the discrete random variable x has k possible outcomes x sub 1 to up to k and the corresponding outcome probabilities are p sub 1, p sub 2, p sub k. By p sub 1, we mean the probability that x takes on the value x sub 1. Similarly, p sub 2 is the probability that x takes on value x2, and so on. Well, we can also draw the probability distribution you used to see in part 1 video. Where we have outcomes in the first column, the notation is lowercase x, and the second column has the corresponding probabilities. The probability that x takes on value x1 is p1, x2 is an outcome, the probability p2. Last outcome, xk, the probability that x takes on value xk is pk. Then the expected value or mean value of the discrete random variable x is the sum of all of products of outcomes and corresponding probabilities. In the summation notation, we have xi times pi, where i takes on value 1 to k. If we write the formula explicitly, we are going to add up x1 times p1, x2 times p2, lastly, the product of xk and pk. Another notation you can see around for the formula of expectation could be the one involving this probability notation as the outcome probability instead of p. We can rewrite the formula here by replacing each p with this notation here. So we are going to have Note that mu x could be used instead of e of x. You will remember from the chapter 2 part 1 video that this is the subjective probability distribution where the random variable is coarse grayed in my eco 4000 class. Let x denote this random variable to calculate the mean or expected value of x. In the table, we have the outcomes in the first column and the outcome probabilities in the second column. For the expected value calculation, the GPA scale at the college I teach this class applies. A means 4.0, A minus 3.7, Lastly, f means 0.0. .0. Let's implement the formula to calculate the expected value. 4 times 0 0.375 plus 3.7 times 0 0.1 plus 0 times 0 0.0375. Therefore, the expected value is 3.165. We have discussed the expected value formula for a discrete random variable followed by an example. Expected value formula for a continuous random variable involves integral evaluation, which is beyond the scope of our course. That's why it won't be reviewed here. However, we shouldn't skip the following property regarding the expectation of a linear function of a random variable. Suppose that a random variable y is defined as a function of another random variable x, such that y equals a plus b times x, where a and b are constant, then the expected value of the random variable y is since the expected value of a constant is constant itself, a plus, since expected value of constant times variable is the constant times the expected value of the random variable. To sum up, mean of y is a plus b times mean of x. We could use mu notation. Here is a quick example. Suppose that the random variable x has a mean of 16. Let y be 1 over radical 25 times x minus 16. Find the mean of random variable y. We are given the expected value of x and y as a function of x. By using the bar property, we can easily calculate the expected value of y. Here is better to use bracket.
expected value of this product is the constant times expected value of x minus 16. 1 over radical 25 is 0 0.2. Then expect value of x minus 16 is expected value of x minus 16. x has a mean of 16 that is given in the question. Then we find the mean of y as 0. The reason I show this step is that you're going to have a similar question in the homework to fill in the blanks. Hope this example will help you to answer that question easily. Mm -hmm.